So instead of uh, speaking extemporaneously, I, I wrote a speech. So I hope it's okay if I read it because I think this is uh, really important what you're doing here today and I want to get this right. So again, my name is Dana Nessel and I am your Michigan Attorney General. Now, I come here today to implore the government of the city of Hamtramck to repeal its resolution to ban the pride flag and to instead pledge to love, support, and recognize the dignity and the value of all those who live, visit, and do business with Hamtramck. Now, I have heard that Mayor Galeb has said that those who make this request are strangers and outsiders to Hamtramck. Friends, I have spent my career here at the 31st District Court fighting for crime victims, defending the rights of indigent defendants, people who were too poor to be able to afford an attorney. I have been here over and over again for your events and your festivals. When I ran for office in 2018, I was endorsed by the Bangladeshi and Yemeni caucuses of the Michigan Democratic Party who stood on stage with me when I earned the endorsement of my party. The city of Hamtramck voted for me in overwhelming numbers in two consecutive election cycles, and I have fought tirelessly for Hamtramck and for the Muslim community over the course of my last four and a half years in office. I am not a stranger to you. I am not an agitator. I am your attorney general. And yes, I am also gay. Now, Mayor Caleb has said that banning the pride flag is meant to keep the city neutral and impartial towards its residents. Respectfully, I disagree. Banning the pride flag is meant to send the very opposite message, a message of intolerance, hatred, and bigotry. As it said, in situations of injustice, neutrality always favors the oppressor, never the oppressed. And as Martin Luther King Jr. so aptly observed, the hottest place in hell is reserved for those who remain neutral in times of great moral conflict. Anyone who accepts evil without protesting against it is one who cooperates with it. And make no mistake, homophobia, transphobia are indeed forms of evil just as much as Islamophobia is. In a time of great turbulence in our state and nation, when discrimination and hate crimes are on the rise against historically marginalized communities, now is the time for Muslims and the LGBTQ communities to stand together. Yeah. Those who wish the LGBTQ community harm are the very same people who threaten the lives and liberties of Muslims in our nation. And we must stand together, united, not divided. <laughs> the consequences of allowing those who wish harm on both our communities to divide us are nothing short of catastrophic. Let us remember the prescient words of Martin Niemler. First they came for the socialists, but I did not speak up because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, but I did not speak up because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak up because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me. And what happened? There was no one left to speak up. 
So I ask the city of Hamtramck to use its voice to speak up for all its people. Take down the wall you have now built that has made this proud city into a national embarrassment and raise the flag of equality. Hamtramck, I will continue to fight for you in Lansing, but I ask that you treat all your residents with dignity, value, support, and equal protection. We are all deserving of as much, no more and no less. I love you, Hamtramck. Woo! <laughs>